Uh, very effective technique, as I mentioned, S stands for survey. When you start to learn a new material, first thing you do, you try to read the chapter as a kind of browsing. Read the introduction section, try to look at the major headlines in the chapter, look at the pictures, graph, chart, map, and try to make a little more sense, try to correlate with the subject and with the idea that is supposed to be conveyed to you. A very good idea is uh, reading the summary of the chapter. Summary perhaps is the core, is the juice of the chapter and you know what it's all about. Uh, also it's very beneficial to look at the question at the end of each chapter. Most of the textbook they offer uh, questions uh, at the end of the chapter. Then turn all these to questions. Try to design several questions. Try to uh, change headline, each of headlines to one question. Try to create this own question, ask yourself, what is this? What is that? And after uh, this, maybe this helps you a lot to crystallizing the idea. After asking the questions, then the very important three R's come to picture. First, you have to read. Read the chapter completely. Try to uh, read the sections that are more important related to the questions. Then to recite, so you have those questions, either the question at the end of the chapter or the question you have designed, try to answer those questions, and I emphasize answer the questions not by the author's words, but answer the question by your own wording. Try to use own phrases. This is your idea, and that's much better way to again crystallize the idea and correlate and associate with the idea than you're using your own wording. And finally, last but not least, review. Reviewing is a very important part of learning. And by reviewing, I mean immediate reviewing and also delay reviewing. It is believed that if you understand a subject today, right now, this topic, you are 100% clear. Tomorrow, perhaps, you understand or remember it only 80%. Next week would be only 50%. So as a result, it is uh, very important to implement reviewing process. And of course, this increase the amount of material that you have retained and you do, should do that in a very periodic way. So again, let me uh, recap. First, you have to uh, survey, look for the titles, for summary, for introduction, pictures, headlines, charts. Then you design the questions that you have based on what you have read uh, in the first section, just browsing you did. Then you read the sections that are important for those questions. Then you find the answer, answer the question by your own wording. And finally, you have to conduct a complete review. And that makes you to uh, retain the material. Now, taking notes, as I mentioned, is very important. Now, how do we take note effectively? Number one, take notes in a way that you understand it. This is your note. You have to be able to understand these notes when you leave the class, when at uh, evening when you are trying to review it. You have to understand it. If you make a note that you don't understand, that note is not a uh, very good note. And make sure again you understand, your note is your note. Perhaps maybe your note does not make any sense to me. That's okay, because I'm not supposed to read your note. Your note is for yourself. Uh, pay attention to key points, uh, words, phrases that your professor is using. I personally, when I'm teaching somebody important, I turn back to my student and I tell them, this is going to be important. Most probably this would be in your exam. And this gives you a hint. It gives to my students a hint. They write it down. Of course, not every single point I mentioned will come to the exam, but perhaps from those 50 or uh, tens of points I mentioned, several of them, they will be in exam. Try to develop your own code, sign and symbols, you know, make two stars, uh, two question marks, underlines, you know, happy face, a sad face, and make this code uh, in somehow that you can associate with your taking notes, and at the end, when you're going to review it again, you understand it. For that, perhaps you have to have a key for uh, your uh, codes. Also, use proper abbreviation. Sometimes you don't have enough time to write, you know. Uh, try to use own abbreviation and again make kind of a list of abbreviation that you're using that helps you a lot to not falling behind as professor going perhaps a little fast. If it's required, use a, a tape recorder. These days you can use the digital uh, tape recorder. It would be very simple without any problem. You can perhaps review uh, the lectures. In worst case scenario, if there's something that is a demonstration perhaps in a lab or something, 
if is uh, allowed, then you can bring also your little webcam or uh, little uh, hand cam. Modify your notes as you go along. So when you take your notes and you go home and then you read it, so this is wrong, I made this one incorrectly, perhaps I misunderstood, or underline this uh, again because it's important. Try to modify in a sense that when it comes to the exam time and you have to do the final study and reviewing for your exam, you will be able to completely understand uh, your notes. Now, of course, these are all uh, techniques that you can implement to become better students, but uh, there is no substitute uh, of this uh, phrase, working hard. You always have to work hard. Being a student is not easy, I have to admit. It's lots of uh, work to do, no matter what discipline you are, you have to be committed, you have to really spend a lot of time, you have to sacrifice a lot. So working hard is number one key point for success. And there is no substitute for working hard. Of course, you have to be able to focus. Focus on uh, your study. Never give up. That's uh, a winning attitude, you know, everyone has a strength and weak points and you have to identify your weak points, but do not give up. If you are failing in one part or if you are lacking some skills, don't give up. Try to go after and try to polish your skill and try to uh, keep yourself up standard and I'm sure that there is not a single thing as I can do it. You have to erase can't from your vocabulary as a student. Now after working hard, of course, uh, Another very important uh, characteristic for students should be uh, to be a good team work player. You have to be a good team player. Very often in your study, uh, you work in a group, you have to submit a group report and you do a group discussion. You have to be able to participate in a group. You have to be able to contribute as a group, uh, as a member in a group. Of course, if all the groups are equally contributing to a common goal, that uh, would be not out of reach. But sadly enough, sometimes there's lack of communication. So you have to understand that uh, you have to be very communicative. I personally believe the quality of my life is nothing but the quality of my personal communication. Try to communicate with other group members. And sadly enough, uh, sometimes there are people in the group that they like to get a free ride. You know, they just don't want to participate, don't want to spend enough time, and they only want to get the juice at the end. Of course, other group members should come to them and say, you know what, you are not contributing as much, so uh, you are a team member and you have to contribute more to the team, you have to be more committed. So everyone should be equally uh, spending time. Uh, one very important also point I would like to uh, clear out today is about time management. Time management is a very important skill that no matter what stage of life you are at, uh, you really need to learn this skill. If I ask you, uh, give me a list of what you uh, would have liked to do. You come up with lots of uh, perhaps titles, you know, I want to play piano, I want to learn how to paint and this, and I like to learn flamingo dancing, and so on and so forth, and I ask you, why you haven't done that? Nine out of ten you will say, I didn't have time. Well, let me tell you something, in this planet, everyone, all six point some uh, billion people, they have 24 hours a day. Every single second counts, every day has 84,600 seconds. And every second is as valuable as the next and the previous. So try to use all these seconds equally and try to do not waste any. Try to create this milestone. Uh, this helps you a lot to have these baby steps toward your goals. Uh, I would say one of the most important things that you should learn is daily to-do list. You have to start to uh, write down the things that you have to do, the tasks that you perhaps need to accomplish. These could be personal tasks or they should be professional tasks that someone else is imposing on you. If you are planning that every day you do, let